guys, I'm Molly and I'm from Everyday Gymnastics. Today I'm going to be doing a video all about jumps. So I've done a guide to handstands video in the past and you guys seem to like it. So this is going to be a guide to jumps plus tips and techniques for specific jumps and then just jumps in general. So I hope you guys think this is helpful and let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is just show you and give you the names of a bunch of jumps in gymnastics. These first two are just the simple straight jump and tuck jump and they're usually used in the lower beam routines for compulsory levels. At my gym we call this next jump a flutter jump but I've also heard it be called a beat jump and other variations. So it's basically just a straight jump with a little flick of your legs. The pike jump is pretty self-explanatory from the video here. And then the wolf jump is just a pike jump with one of your legs bent and kicked up. Here are my split and straddle jumps. It's basically just the position that you sit in on the floor. You're just having to snap your legs up and back down really fast and keep your chest up. For the full turn jump, the trick is basically to keep very tight in your jump and then you also want to spot something when you start and finish so it's easier to stick the landing. Alright, so now I'm just going to give you some pretty general tips and then some jump specific tips and techniques for how to improve. So the first one is you definitely want to stretch in the positions such as split, pike, and straddle because that will definitely improve your flexibility and easiness to get up into the air. And then when I say practice positions, I mean, for example, in your split stretch, you want to just press your arms back and keep your chest up. And in your straddle, you can sit with your knees pointing up to the ceiling and your chest up just to model what you're going to be doing in the air. That just really helps me sometimes. And then don't mind the giant mud spot on the trampoline. It was extremely muddy and wet when I was filming this. But my next tip is to do over stretches. So just like the stretching, this is definitely going to help you improve. Just put your foot or feet up on another raised surface. So I used my mini trampoline and I stretched my straddle split and pike and make sure for the splits and straddles to do both sides. My next tip includes a trampoline, mini trampoline, tumble track, or anything that will bounce you. So it's just another way to practice your jumps. You will have more time to be up in the air and get to your full positions and snap your legs up and back down. So here I just did a couple of things that you will see. This tip to use a higher surface for your jumps is what I do to practice my beam jumps at the gym. So for me, I use the panel mat. I do my jumps up onto it and then off of it just to work, you know, getting the better lift and time in the air. Leg strength is very important for your jumps, so these hip flexor exercises in the video will definitely help you with your straddle jump. And I have multiple videos on YouTube that I will link below with many, many leg exercises for you to do. This next topic is just a little thing for your flutter jump. So go into the hollow hold position and just practice fluttering your legs back and forth and maybe it'll help you in your jump. I don't know, I just thought of it. The last thing I wanted to mention is just having good form. So tight arms, tight legs, snap your legs up and back down, you know, point your toes, whatever you need to do to make the jump look pretty. Have good starts and finishes and good luck with your jumps. Thank you for watching guys. I hope you got something out of this video helpful for your jumps. And comment down below what your favorite jump is. My favorite is split jumps, I think. And also, today I'm wearing my shirt that I'm selling on my website. It says Everyday Gymnastics on the front and on the back. I'll show a picture. It says Practice Makes Perfect. So I'll link the link to this below. It's on my website, everydaygymnastics.com. And it's long sleeve white. I will send it to you if you order it with a handwritten note from me. We ship international, so yeah. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next Sunday. Bye, guys.